What did you think of practice today? Well, I thought I thought uh, you know I thought we started slow. Uh, certainly, thought the offense started slow for sure. Um, you know, we, we went live about 20 plays early in practice and, and didn't like the uh, didn't like the way we came off the ball and didn't play physical at all. Didn't think we played physical really in any of the skill positions. And, Quarterback struggled early part of practice, and then I thought they, those guys kind of rallied at the end and played better uh, the second half and made some big plays in the scrimmage. But um, you know, it wasn't I, I didn't think it was our best practice we've had for sure. What did you ask of them as far as conditioning and all that over their break, and what did you think about the way they came back? Yeah, you know, I thought they I thought they actually came back pretty good. You know, we came out Monday and. and you know, got after it. We were gonna, we were gonna initially wait till Wednesday to get started. We had to miss, uh, you know, we missed the very first day, and so as a result, we, we came back Monday after spring break and probably weren't as, uh, I mean, probably played better than I thought we would. You know, just for, for being out for a week. And so I, I thought they did a good job over the break. You know, had the right frame of mind. wasn't perfect. It was our first day in full pads. And, uh, but, but I thought they came back with the right frame of mind. I thought our effort was good. One guy who looked like he made a few plays today, Kylan Granson, transferred last year but had to sit out. What have you seen from him, and how do you see him fitting into the rotation? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the big thing about Kylan, I mean, he's, uh, you know, he's 233 pounds, and I think he ran one of the fastest 40s on our team. Uh, so he's, he's got got good size, and he's athletic. He can run. He made some big plays today. You know, the thing about him, I think he's been really consistent. You know, I think that's the thing that's probably stood out. Um, about him, um, it's just you know he's he's performed pretty well every day. He's in the right place at the right time. He really has got a good uh, football sense. You know I think he understands the game well. Um, you know he's he's competitive, and so he's working hard to get better. And I think the quarterbacks are starting to get some confidence. In him. Rodney Clemens not dressed today. What happened to him? What's his status? Yeah, Rodney's just a little sore, so we gave him a day off. So nothing, nothing major. He should be able to go Monday. Update on Turner Cox or Shabazz Dotson, who are also out. Yeah, Turner. Turner will be fine. He's uh, he was seeing a doctor today, but he'll be fine. I would anticipate it. he's practicing Monday, and then Shabazz. Shabazz had a little bit of an injury, and we'll kind of see how he how he how he responds. We expect him back probably second half of spring. Judah had kind of a nice little scrimmage, making a couple of blocks and some nice catches. Can you talk about the new yeah, I mean, I think Judah started to get comfortable. I mean, I think that a big part of becoming a good wide receiver is starting to realize you know kind of who and what you are. You know, and Judah's, um, you know, got good size and, you know, he needs to be a guy that can make competitive plays on the ball and a guy that blocks well on the perimeter and, you know, somebody that can run a slant when somebody's on his hip and make a competitive play. And, and so, you know, he's probably not as fast as some of the other guys, so he's got to rely on his on his size and his strength and playing really physical. And I think he's starting to grow into that role and starting to learn, you know, figure out more who he is. I think it's important. Um, you know, we got to have that guy that we can count on that's going to make plays. Um, you know, when, when somebody's on his back or somebody that can spring a big block on the perimeter. And he's he's starting to understand that role and, and uh, perform better in that role. At one point last fall, you made a comment about C.J. Sanders saying he was a guy who might really benefit from being in the system a second year and being familiar with the teammates. What have you seen from him this spring? Yeah, he's, he's a different guy. I mean, I think he's in better shape. You know, he came in last year and was probably not in the best physical condition. He was finishing school and trying to get the, get that stuff done. And, and he's in better shape now. He's been through you know our strength and conditioning program. And, um, you know, he's had, having a real good spring. Same thing, he's been much more consistent, runs his routes a lot faster. Uh, starting to understand the nuances that, that make the, uh, you know, that make him a good wide receiver, and starting to play with some confidence, and the quarterbacks are starting to kind of get on the same page with him. So he's a guy that, you know, we need to have a good year, expect him to have a good year, and, and he's starting to look like he's going to have a chance to do that. Going back to your theme about wanting these guys to be bigger and stronger, one guy who looks a lot different, Harrison Loveless. How do you see him fitting into the rotation? Yeah, I mean Harrison's Harrison's been a physical, physical guy for us, starting to, you know close to 300 pounds now and, and has gotten bigger and gotten stronger as a result and you know starting to, to be able to play with more leverage and use his hands and you know all the things that good defensive tackles have to do um, like where he's headed you know he is he's been showing up a lot more I think he's starting to, to you know to, to be able to hold up on the inside a little bit more than he has in the past so you know I, I'm same thing I think, I think he's working himself into becoming a good player